So, I'm sitting in a busy location in Los Angeles, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, today is day 39 of 44 Days of Transforming Grief. The radio show that I'm highlighting today that was um, originally aired six years ago was with my guest, Jenny Shaw. We titled the show, Heeding the Call, Listening to Your Inner Voice Now. And as I was re-listening to the show, there were a couple of things that really stood out for me. Um, one is that both Jenny and I had had an experience where we loved the life we were living. Um, both of us had been through a series of challenges throughout our lives, and we felt like we, we'd landed in a place that we loved. And for me, it was homeschooling my kids and really using my creativity and love of learning and education and, and being with my children and being with communities of uh, primarily women and uh, girls and had some boys who were part of classes but I felt like it was a place for me to have a voice and really share my journey and to learn from all these different generations. And for Jenny, she had had a love of horses all of her life and she'd created a life for herself where she was working with thoroughbred horses. And her what started to happen was things started to fall apart in her life. And first she was talking about how there were these little nudges of wake up or make a change here. And then it, there were things that happened like a car accident. She had surgery and a few years later she was not physically able to ride horses any longer. And so little by little she had to give up this career that she'd had this life. Her boss, who she loved and adored and had worked for for 10 years, died. Uh, Jenny went through a divorce. She um, had a house fire. And we talked about how even when you have a life you are living, there is a point where your soul begins to call you to something else. There is something else for you to experience, to offer, to live while you are still here and are you going to listen or are you going to resist one of the ways to get in touch with that intuition is through practices practices of writing of creating with art meditating doing practices that help you to like have this connection to your inner guidance where you do stop, you do notice where there's resistance, you do notice where all of a sudden that workshop that you could fill with 50 people easily has three people coming to it. And, and even with that, it's looking at the timing, tuning into the energy. So if you want to listen to the show, I'll be posting the show link here. And it was, uh, it was an inspirational reminder for me of this journey of walking the path, listening to your inner guidance, paying attention to the signs, the synchronicities, the noticing where things are falling apart, things that worked really smoothly before, and just being in a space of listening, waiting, moving with inspired action, knowing when to surrender. It was a good show. All right, we're moving into the year even more. So I have a few more shows that I'll be posting and thanks for stopping by.